Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of July reading start from the 8th through the 14th of July 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So let's see what is coming up for Capricorns for the second week time. I will be adding oracle cards and charms in this reading so stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, Capricorns, let's dive into the read and let's find out what is coming ahead. Let's begin. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Um, a rush of stability, happiness, financial abundance is definitely coming towards you. Um, it can be coming directly linked to you or it can be coming in, in, in terms of... Uh, um, inheritance as well for some of you for some of you maybe you are going to get some sort of incentive at work which is going to feel make you feel like you know oh, wow you have uh, you know got an extra money of uh, you know and plus it's gonna be a handsome amount I don't think it's gonna be you know uh, kind of a less amount or something I feel like you know it's gonna be a handsome amount for others of you, you might be on the receiving end of some uh, very expensive gift coming from your person as well so um, I feel like you know you are starting of the week uh, with such beautiful energy. Let's see more cards here. Uh, Queen of Cups. Wow. It can be very well a gift in love. You might be on the receiving end of uh, some sort of a gift coming from your person in love. Um, for some of you, maybe it's going to be an engagement ring uh, coming from a person. Like it can be a proposal coming from a person. If not, then definitely it's, it's going to be a gift of some kind from your person, which is going to be an expensive one that you will be on the receiving end of. Um, and if that's the case, it seems like, you know, um, this person is going to lavish you with lots of uh, attention, love, and luxuries uh, is what I'm picking up. This person could be very well uh, rich and um, they, could be, uh, they could be older than you, as in uh, maybe uh, uh, five to seven years older to you. Uh, that could be the case for some of you. Let's see more cards here. Nine of Wands. King of Cups. What is it all about for souls? Wow. It seems like um, with the Nine of Wands uh, in between the King and Queen of Cups, it seems like, you know, you are going to be like, you know, having your guards up still. You haven't let the past go. You haven't let the hurt go. You haven't let the um, old patterns go. It's, it's more like, you know, I don't see that there is any uh, issue with this person or their intention. It's just that you are blocking yourself from, uh, you know, being on the receiving end of uh, such a beautiful energy. Um, it's it's more like you know you want to take it, uh, you want to take this offer, you want to take the gift, but then you are stopping yourself. And uh, wow, let's see more cards here. Ace of Cups, two aces, Capricorns. It's it's a beautiful energy uh, for you this week, but. Um, why you are holding yourself back let's see more cards here seven of uh, swords okay and then the tower page of cups and six of wands oh wow your person is not gonna give up even if you have your guards up this person is going to make you put it down they're gonna make you realize like in the past is past so let it go and uh, they will they will make you fall for it they will make you um, you know open your heart up to their love this person is somebody who is like a blessing from the from the heavens to you uh, this person is definitely somebody very rich and famous I don't see that this person is somebody who is uh, um, they could be an artist they could be somebody to do with uh, some artistic field or something um, but this person is, they really know how to, how to, you know, they are very sensitive to your emotions as well. They might understand where you are coming from. And they would give you your time and space to, to uh, you know, fall in love with them. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, they are somebody who knows how to, uh, you know, paint a picture of their future self with you and how to materialize that picture. So they are somebody who's very expert at it. So if they want it, trust me, they will get it. 
So um, beautiful energies. I feel like, you know, uh, initially I do see you might have your guards up, but um, maybe, maybe it, it is because of uh, you feeling that it is so good to be true. Uh, so maybe you feel like, you know, I don't deserve it. Maybe they have hidden agenda or something to do with that, which could be the reason why you are holding yourself back. You are going to go in your hermit mode for them. Um, but then as you do so, you're going to start seeing the positive aspect of this person. You're going to start knowing this person better. And trust me, that's going to be the time when you are going to let this person be, uh, you know, uh, the one for you. And you're going to let them, uh, hold your hand and take you with them. So beautiful energies, beautiful week, uh, two of pentacles, um, three of cups underneath that we do have five of pentacles, eight of swords. You're not letting the past go actually because, because of which you are holding yourself back. If you could let it go, uh, you would know, like, you know, your, your mind is basically stuck in the past situations that you have dealt with. Um, which could be the reason why you are stopping yourself from like, you know, giving into this connection with this person. But this person is the, again, the same thing. Four of Swords and the um, for some of you it might be uh, you might have somebody else in the in the past as well that you uh, that you liked maybe and you still are hopeful that maybe they will come in uh, and then this person shows up and you wonder like you know shall you accept this person's offer or shall you wait for the one that you loved now it's very important for you to understand this um, whoever it is that you are waiting for especially if that person never gave into the connection that always like you know made you feel worse in the situations like uh, you know uh, that you had with them and uh, now since you're getting this person just let yourself open to this person like you know don't uh, stop this person uh for the past person because the past person seems like maybe they they uh, maybe they never valued you maybe it's high time that you that you pull yourself out of that you know uh, fake hope around it like you know uh, that this person would show up someday uh, and try to see for yourself like what love looks like you know this person and what they have to offer is pretty much what looks uh, what love looks like so try to understand that and don't block yourself for anyone right now um, listen to your inner calling and trust me your inner calling is going to take you make you take this offer they have to make to you a message for you I am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light I love you this person really loves you a lot. Whoever this person is, um, you should consider this person and their offer. Because I feel like you know, this person is uh, very genuine and they have a genuine offer to make to you. This person is somebody who is very rich and famous, so they don't need to do drama and all. If they want uh, you know, drama, they could have it with anyone. Uh, why would they choose you? If they are choosing you, they are choosing you because they want you and only you. Uh, you see seeds grow. Uh, sorry, uh, see your seed grows see your seeds grow um i feel like you know this is exactly what you waited for this is exactly what you have been wishing and hoping for and now you are getting it but then you have your guards up uh you are worried you're concerned don't do that to yourself just receive your gift from heaven and let it be okay i think we should include this card this set cards. uh your life partner is yet to enter in your life i feel like you know this is the one who is entering in your life if you were thinking that the past person is the one, no, this is the one. Strong-headed and independent person, this person is going to be somebody who's very independent and strong-headed. Taurus and Sagittarius could be the sign of the person. Self-care and self-love, this person is going to make you feel like, you know, what you are worthy of. Evil energies are around you. I feel like you know, the evil energies that are blocking you are from within. Uh, your negative patterns is something that you need to get rid of. Let them know your worth and value. I feel like, you know, it's high time you move on and let the past person know your worth and value as they lose you, as you give into this connection with this person. Believe in your prayers and uh, trust me, these are the uh, th this person is the answer to your prayers. Uh, God didn't want you to be with the past person for a reason. You deserve a person like this. So try to understand that. And get off cycle and heal. Uh, mental blocks, get rid of them. Uh, third party situation. Uh, you are, uh, the third party situation is coming from your end only like you know you are stuck because between the past person and the new person new person is the one that you should be accepting Aries and Gemini could be the sign of the person that you're dealing with um, God will lead the way daydream and act I feel like you know since God is leading the way you are going to choose this person and readily um, accept this person's proposal and this week time I do see that you know um, initially I do see you having your guards up but then with the passage of time you're going to start giving into this 
the energy is gaining momentum the love the feeling the emotion that this person is going to bring in for you in this connection is going to start building momentum and your past and uh, all the negativities that past had brought in your life will wash away also this we do have p d u r h it can be your name initial name initial of the person that you are dealing with again it's high time that you put the guards down and let this person take the charge try to have some fun time with this person the more you know this person trust me you will fall in love with this person you versus you it's more about you versus you it's not about anybody from the past or this person it's more about you need to look within to find what is it that you want what is it that makes you happy this person really does make you happy but then you have your guards up because you are stuck in your head around past and this new person or if there is no such past but yes you have past blocks to deal with this person is here to fall in love with you and to love you forever so let this person do what they are here for so yeah try to try to um, put the guards down and uh, let this person take the lead and uh, have uh, you know uh, have you prioritized and have you uh, treated like a prince or a princess so just just uh, let things be and enjoy getting the attention getting the love that you are getting with this person so yeah, this prime message coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, to like, subscribe and share. If you are willing to get a personal lead, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.